Hey, so as I was editing, I, um, I got a comment saying that I should make a Discord server um, for everyone to like come on, chat, you know, talk to me. I'll probably be on there too. Would that be something that you guys would be interested in? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, enjoy the video. Hey yo, what is up Thrill Seekers? I am here at Bush Gardens Williamsburg with my uncle and my dad. We're just gonna hang out today. Um, it's supposed to like rain today, so there's not as many people at the park. Um, I just came here yesterday and it was pretty crowded, so hopefully there's gonna be a lot less people, but we're gonna start off our day with Finnegan's Flyer. This is something I didn't actually get to ride yesterday because it had a long line, so might as well ride it right now. This is so <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> now hold on tight as you soar high over the Celtic coast on Finnegan's Flyer. It's a little bit more crowded on this path, but I don't think that's necessarily a great representation of the crowds. Oh, you're gonna get something? Okay. What's the fit? There you go. Mesmerized. Imagine voluntarily reading. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Are there any wolves over here? I don't think there are any wolves. Just some nice looking rocks. I always forget that people actually like doing other things at amusement parks other than riding roller coasters. So I was almost to Griffin and these guys were just watching this educational video. Where are you going? I'm trying to ride a B&M dive. Hey. Oh. Oh, there it is. Hey, what's up, my dude? B&M dive time. Yeah. I'm excited to get one of these at Fiesta, Texas. With a 95 degree drop, too. Like, you know how good that drop is in the back row on Griffin? 95? What? Okay, their operations are getting better. There was, I feel like I heard a scream of people going down the drop not too long ago. You'll see like there are certain elements where everyone screams. And one of those is dive coaster. As soon as it lets go of you, it's like a collective scream from the crew. Yeah, there it goes. line is way less than it was yesterday it seems to be pretty good they seem to have a little bit better operations which is really nice but we still got to grab a locker real quick because no one has zipper pockets so here we go locker time we'll just get a movable locker um fun fact pretty much every major coaster doesn't have bins on the ride platform you do need to get a locker something that i always do is rent a multi-use locker um i wonder if i can use my multi-use locker from yesterday probably not right i can try but um whenever you're done and you want to move it you just press this and it'll have you do a pin and pop everything up in there gotta get all the loose articles up in there Bye. Let me uh, not waste my battery. All right, just got off the first ride. How was it? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, yeah, it was good. 
Yeah. I, I like the I like the back. Now we're gonna go to the front. Okay. Yes. For sure. For sure. The end, like the sitting on the very end, is so awesome. Like you just get a different experience. It kind of feels like a wing coaster where you're like not on the track. It's really cool. But yeah, we're gonna try the front now. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I've, I mean, I've been on this so many times. I come here every year. Um, I have to say, something that I didn't do this year is bring my GoPro. I totally forgot it at home. Um, this is one of the very few parts that does allow GoPros on rides. SeaWorld Park to do if you have a wrist strap or a chest strap. I just forgot mine at home. Um, but if you want to click up here, this is a vlog where I did have some footage of us on the ride. But anyways, let's hop on Griffin again. Honestly, this is one of the best operations that I've seen them do. I think the issue is that they're having, for some reason, a whole bunch of people going in like the ADA entrance. A whole bunch of people with ADA or like exit passes and stuff like that. So because of that, they have to hold the gates like every single cycle. And it's definitely holding up their operations. You see? They have the potential to, to do every single dispatch the where they're rolling. That wasn't that hard. There you go. Come straight in. Beautiful. The issue with their operations right now is they have a whole bunch of people who have these exit passes and they come through this line over here. Because of that, they have to hold the gates the attendant on this side has to come over, open the this ADA gate, make sure that everyone comes on in. Skyra. Hey. And here we go. Every time the auto spiel keeps uh, keeps cutting out. That's okay though. Let's do this thing. Hey, front row. Okay, front or front or back though. Uh, I like them both, but yeah. I like them both. Yeah? No, no preference? <laughs> no preference. No like preference, that's fair. I honestly, I think I'm leaning towards the back. And the reason why, like, obviously it's really cool to hang over that drop and stuff. But well, you miss but, a little bit. But you miss a little bit of, like, yeah. getting whipped over, you whipped know? Whipped over, yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, I got, like, a whole bunch of room on my restraint, so I was able to, like, float up a little bit and it felt really nice. But, um... But yeah, I, I think I like the back just a little bit better. <laughs> Are we going this one more time? Another ride? What's the what's the move? Another ride. Another ride? Sweet. We can do Invader. Sounds good. Or as we like to call it, Invader. Because there's no E before the R. It's Invade and then a capital R because Bush Gardens wanted to be fancy like that. Or maybe the person who made the name was just dyslexic. I don't know. <laughs> it was the second one I can relate. <laughs> Do you remember? That's true. Do you remember? I don't know if you remember this. I got like a 70 on my first English assignment in pre-AP English in eighth grade because I spelled though, T-H-O. And if anyone did not know, this is the same ride model that Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger will be going to Six Flags Fiesta, Texas in 2022. It's a B&M dive coaster. Um, the main gimmick with these is it will hang you up at the top, hanging you over the drop, just like that, before sending you down. Oh yeah, I am insanely excited for Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. Um, not just because I love dive coasters, but that drop right there, that is 90 degrees. That is exactly straight down. It gives some of the best airtime I have ever experienced on any coaster. But Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger is going to be 95 degrees, which is beyond vertical. It's going to be the steepest ride of its kind. So the airtime is going to be unmatched. My dad's trying to run away from me. Where are you going? It's okay, he's probably just going to the store to get some milk. 
Monaco will be back, right? From France, we are going into New France. <laughs> Something super cool that this has um, here on Griffin is a splashdown element. Um, Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger will not have this. Kind of seemed like it might because of the fountain of youth thing, but nope. Splash. Oh yeah. Gonna grab some quick food here at uh, whatever this place is called. And <laughs> we're just gonna split Smokehouse Barbecue. Is that what you think? Sounds like a good guess. Yeah, I think, so. I think that actually might be it, actually. Um, anyways. We're just gonna split the entree, the top one, which is the um, Tapper's Smokehouse Sampler. Um, and it does come with waffle fries. Oh yeah. Da da da! There you go. Beautiful. All right, next ride on the list. Invade R. <laughs> All right, let's do it. And once again, if you have any phones or bags or anything, there is nowhere to put anything in the station of any of the rides. So you will have to leave it in a locker. As usual, Invader has a pretty long line. See, Apollo's chariot is pretty all right, right? Griffin, pretty good, right? But the best ride in the park, undoubtedly. Log the log flume. It's really funny as you're waiting in line here for invaders. Um, the log flume is right above us, and whenever a boat like hits the side, it'll spray water down on the people in line. So all of these like wet spots are just from the water from the log flume. It's really funny. Here we are, and goodbye. And here we go. I have to say, they do have a lot of really good shows here, both indoors and outdoors. They have a really, really Thank nice so show. So that is definitely is something Gabriel. super and awesome. And walking across the bridge out of France over Alpengeist. It is a super cool bridge to get some shots of Alpengeist on. I'll definitely be coming back over here to record this awesome ride because it looks beautiful. Here we go. Let's do it. Hey, there's like never a line on this or Apollo just because they have a really, really good capacity. You know, I love how they just got like a normal, like attendant panel. And instead of putting it on the wall, they were like, no, let's just pop it on this table. Which is weird because if you have to hit e-stop, like, this is not in the most convenient spot, but go off, I guess. And there it goes. I have to say, Alpengeist, theoretically, shouldn't be stacking and it didn't stack for long it kind of like hit the brake run and then they hit the dis or sorry they it like it stopped and then they hit the dispatch button so it's not bad um but still this and griffin have been stacking today and they're usually rides that don't stack at all yeah, yes sir okay all righty yeah another one then come back sweet Alrighty, then we'll, we'll do for Bolton since it's just the next thing up. Um, but man, that ride is so intense. That's why my dad, my dad loves this ride. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very intense. There's a lot of like positive G-forces on there. Um, I, I have to say, I think it's grown on me as probably my favorite uh, invert. Yeah, alrighty. Now, time for Verbolton. And for that, we got the quick queue. Let's go. <laughs> it's good music. There it is, Verbolton. Yeah. Hey. Well, that was helpful. 
very. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And especially they're only doing one. Oh, oh, oh. You know. Uh, Peter Singh. Um, and also they're only running one of the two stations right now, so. Yeah. Of your day at Bush Gardens. They do have very good operations here. Very, very good operations here. From the looks of it, they are running three trains right now. They have the possibility of running five. I've seen them run five before. Um, they just have to use this extra station over here, and they can run five trains. It's crazy. There they go. Hey, there you go, just rode Ver Bolton. I'm super thankful for the Platinum Pass, which gives me one like quick cue every time I go, because that line was very long and I was able to get everyone on here. Um, but yeah, that was super fun. I really like that ride. This, this park definitely has like one of the best collection of family coasters with this and Invader. Like the theming, awesome, the drop track. Did you remember that it dropped like that? Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I mean, I knew after they did it, right. I remembered it. You remembered it? Yeah. I, I was telling my dad, I was like, I don't think he's going to remember that it <laughs> it drops. Um, but anyways. Yeah? They decided to do this before Zoom and Jaro's drop of doom, which is literally twice as tall. So... Yay! Make sure to put your phone away. Yeah. Oh, no. Hold on to your leader, Hosey, as we spin you up and drop you down on the top. Hey, you two, we'll be back down in a minute. Go, 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 Might as well. There's no one in line. <laughs> oh, let's do it. There you go. I was I was just talking about how they need to say something funny before we drop. Like even like a simple five, four, three, then we drop. Um, I always love three, two, uh oh. She she did one that I have been talking about doing for a while on like culture guys to scream if I get trained on him. Um, and that's uh, dropping in three, two, one, zero, negative one, negative two, and then we dropped. That was good. That was good. My dad and I, just twice, my dad and I looked at each other as she said that, and we were like, ah. And once again, going out of Germany and back into Germany. <laughs> hey, look at this. There you go. We can ride this like two or three times if there's no one waiting for our rows. Gotta get back. For my intensity junkie over here. Oh yeah. Hey. Alrighty, let's do this thing. That was funny, I look over at you. Like I look over at you and I start laughing because I just see you riding around like. <laughs> You're like so happy. Alrighty, Apollo's chariot time. That's awesome. I've gotten recognized twice in the span of like 30 seconds just on this bridge. Um, so thank you guys so much for everyone who stops and says hi when I'm at the parks. It's awesome meeting you guys. Um, never feel like intimidated to come up to me. I'm not gonna be like, I'm too busy to say it. Like, no. <laughs> thank you guys. Like, if you come up, it's, I'm never too busy for someone to come say hi. It's great meeting you guys. And from here into Italy this is my favorite section of the park and it's gonna even get better once Pantheon opens. Pantheon, please open. Seriously though, like look at how awesome this thing is. Look at this. Bro, look at that. It looks so sick. Alrighty, Apollo's Chariot, let's do this thing. Station waits. I've never seen this thing with a line. It actually has nine rows. So there you go. Nine rows, four seats across. That ends up being what? Uh, 38. 
I think. 38? 36. 36. That's it. 36 passengers. Pretty good. Hey, let's do this thing. Let's -a go. Aha. Hold up, isn't that like someone cool? I feel like they're an enthusiast that I've seen before. I don't know. Anyways, let's drive this thing. Alrighty, round number two. That timer starts at two minutes as soon as the train parks in the station. I have to say, they beat the timer pretty much every single time, which is really, really good. Not even. There it is. Hey. I have to say, Escape from Pompeii is probably my favorite, not my favorite, but one of my favorite water rides. The theming up in there is actually so amazing. There's some fire effects and stuff like falling all around you. It's actually a really, really, really cool ride. As you can probably tell, all of the themed areas here at Busch Gardens Williamsburg are themed to different countries. We have Scotland, Ireland, France, Germany, um, Italy, and of course, my favorite European country, Sesame Street! Man, would love to visit one day. And back down to the entrance plaza. This is where we started off the vlog. We went there to the right to Finnegan's Flyer. We just came from the left, which is where Italy is with Apollo's Chariot and everything. If you go straight over there, then you'll make it to Loch Ness Monster, which we did not get a chance to ride today. But one area that I didn't show is England. There's no rides here or anything like that. It's just a nice little entrance to the park. All of the theming in this section, I think is some of the best around the park. And that's probably just because it's such a small area, so they kind of focus everything in, in one little area, but here it is. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you are able to bring your GoPro on a wrist mount or a chest mount here at the park. If you do do that, go up to guest services right here. They do have to check to make sure that your mount is secure, and then they'll give you a little card, um, and then you just have to, you know, present that card to the ride operators, and they will let you have your GoPro on the ride. It does have to be on a wrist mount or a chest mount, like I said. Goodbye, Bush Gardens. And that is it for our day here at Bush Gardens Williamsburg. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new. We got some awesome rides on some awesome rides today. Um, so definitely, a successful day here at Bush Gardens and look out for more park vlogs coming very soon from King's Dominion, um, Six Flags Great Adventure, Dorney Park, maybe Knobles. Uh, I think we're going to Hershey Park and Nickelodeon Universe and Six Flags America. So definitely a big trip full of new parks, some old parks. Um, so definitely check out my vlog, park vlogs playlist up in the corner for when those come out. But anyways, yeah, I will see you guys all next time. Peace out.